Number 61, when a large star becomes a supernova, its core may be compressed so tightly that it becomes a neutron star, with a radius of about 20 kilometers, about the size of the San Francisco area. If a neutron star rotates every, once every second, letter A, what is the speed of a particle on the star's equator? And B, what is the magnitude of the particle's centripetal acceleration? Letter C, if the neutron star rotates faster, do the answer of letter A and B increase, decrease, or remain the same? Okay, for letter A, you want the speed of the particle on the star's equator, and we know that the period of the movement is equal to 2 times pi times r over the speed. So if we want the speed, we have to isolate it. So the speed is equal to 2 times r over the period. The radius, we already know, it is this value over here, 20 kilometers. And the period of the movement, it says over here, that the star rotates once every second. So the time it takes to do one complete rotation is equal to one second. So we just have to replace here. So it's going to be 2 times pi times 20 times 10 cubed over 1. And this gives us, let's see, 1.3 roughly times 10 to the 5 meters per second. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want the centripetal acceleration. And the centripetal acceleration can be calculated by V squared over R. So V is squared would be 1.3 times 10 to the 5 squared. And the radius is 2 times 10 cubed. So the centripetal acceleration is equal to 7.9 times 10 to the 5 meters per square second, roughly. Okay, so that's the answer of letter B. For letter C, if the neutron star rotates faster. If it rotates faster, the period would decrease. So let's see. For its speed, if this value decreases, the value of the speed increases, right? So the speed increases. And if t decreases, you see that the v increases, so the acceleration increases as well. So the answer of letter C is increase. And that's it.